Okay, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another quickie review. Today it's going to be about In This Moment's Mother album. If you don't know what a quickie is, essentially I go track by track on an album, and I give my opinions on each track in 20 words or less, and also my grading system for the albums will also be 20 words or less. So let's get into it. The song sounds better live, and it was way too modernized for such a classic. Kick-ass chorus, but I don't like that they refer to a lot of their older material. The song has a lot of forlorn themes and a lot of heart behind it, as it dedicates itself to Maria Brink's grandfather, who passed away. The only cover song that I can say I enjoyed on this album, and the features definitely do carry it through. I really don't get the point or message of this song, but I really do the vocals and the instrumentals. I like the 2014 screen vocal cuts mixed in with the guitar solo, and just Maria Brink's glass-shattering screen vocals on this song. Maria sings offbeat the entire song, just like she did on a lot of the tracks on Ritual. I honestly forgot about this song when I, when I re-listened to the album. And I also forgot about this song as well, but it's a lot more slow and more boring. Joe Catella tries his best to carry it through, but I feel like this is just a blatant Seven Dust track. I enjoy this song on every level except lyrically, as they mostly just repeat Lay Me Down for pretty much half of the song, but the back vocals and the instrumentals actually carry it through. I would just rather listen to the original song. Performance, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. The vocals were very enjoyable in the way that they sounded, but in a lot of these songs she was also doing this weird crooning thing that I just did not enjoy. Instrumentals, I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10. Solid performances from the guitarists and the drums, but some of the songs just sound like blatant rip-offs of other bands. Arrangement, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. There were good songs, but most of my criticism comes from the lack of unoriginality that's on this album, as a fourth of the album is cover songs and only one of them I enjoyed. Enjoyment, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. I'm disappointed by Maria Brink's performance and I'm disappointed that this album had so much hype to it and it just fell flat on its face. Adding up all of the points, we are gonna get a 21 out of 40, which will add up to a 5.25 out of 10. As you can see, it goes on the, as you can see, it goes on the decent board. Anime bitches, I look at her titties, then I take her home and we count up these 50s. I come to your city, I sneak in your chimney, I tickle her kidney, and then I watch Disney. I love me some hentai, I go on X videos. Bitch, I'm D-Bank, stick my dick in your Cheerios.